Hello, this is Joe Delio, Senior Solutions Engineer with the Live Community, bringing you the first chapter of the VM Series ELA, Enterprise Licensing Agreement. In the first chapter, we're going to be talking about the overview and how to activate the ELA authorization code. Things you'll learn in this chapter, an overview of the CSP or the Customer Support Portal, the VM ELA token-based licensing, which is all based off of support.paloaltonetworks.com, and how to activate ELA auth codes. We have new exciting changes when it comes to how you license your VM series devices. In the past, it used to be confusing knowing exactly what you had and what you needed to do to license a new VM series device. And in order to make things much easier, we're happy to tell you about our new token-based licensing for the VMs, which is all handled through the VM ELA licensing area. The new token-based system will allow you to be more flexible in how you deploy your VM series models, as well as it gives you multiple ways to access VM series models in a single ELA. Along with the VM ELA-based token licensing, there is a new CSP role, the ELA administrator role. This has been created for the VM ELA token-based model. Upon activation of the new VM ELA auth code, the users who activate it will automatically be given the ELA administrator role. A couple of notes to be aware. The new ELA administrator role can be added and be removed without restrictions by the super user on the account. The ELA admin authority will be automatically granted the first time authorization for the ELA grandparent auth code via the enterprise agreement screen. Also, only the ELA admin can allocate tokens. Now let's take a look at the support site and look how we can activate the ELA auth codes. Inside of the customer support portal, which again is support.paloaltonetworks.com, you will notice inside of the assets area, underneath assets is the enterprise agreements. Inside here, if you click on the activate enterprise agreement area, you'll get a pop-up window. Once that window pops up inside the authorization code area, put in the authorization code that you received. Again, with the end user license agreement, by clicking agree and submit, you agree to the terms and conditions. As always, make sure if you would like to click on the end user license agreement or support agreement to get more details on that. You can either refuse, of course, which cancels and brings you out, or we'll click agree and submit. And the codes have been successfully activated. Close the window now. Now for this new code, you'll see that it has been activated right here. And we have a total of 10,000 tokens in this example here. One more thing I wanted to show inside the customer support portal under members, under manage users. As I stated before, as soon as you accept the ELA license agreement, the new CSP role of ELA administrator will show up underneath the account that you used, which is right here. And you'll notice that the ELA administrator has automatically been added to that as a role. That's all for the end of this chapter. The next chapter in chapter two, you'll learn about how to grant and accept the VM ELA access. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe if you aren't already subscribed. Thank you very much and have a great day.